Hey everyone, in this video we are going to take a look at the trip planner on the Garmin Nuvi 2014 Advanced Series of Automotive GPS, which includes the Garmin Nuvi 2689 LMT and the Nuvi 2789 LMT. Using our trip planner, we can create and save a trip or a route on our GPS. You can also do this on your computer by using Basecamp and then transfer it over. But if you want to do it right on your GPS, you can do that by going into apps, scrolling down and from the bottom, selecting trip planner. We don't have any saved trips right now. We can start a new one by pressing new trip down at the bottom and then select our start location. And we're going to come back to this screen a lot throughout the video. This is how we will select our starting location and also various points on the route. So you can choose where I am now, home, dynamic parking. You can enter in an address. You can select categories that'll take you to the points of interest database. You can select from saved points, recently found points, favorite searches. You can enter in an intersection cities, you can enter in the coordinates manually, or you can browse the map. So I'm going to scroll back up here, and I'm going to start my route at what I have saved as home. There it is. I'll go ahead and hit select. That's been added to our trip. I can continue to add points by pressing the plus sign in the upper left. So this time, let's go into categories, and I will select, uh, how about arts and entertainment, go to movie theaters, and I'll just select something from the list here, hit select, and we will add this to our trip, and I can continue to add points. So I'll just enter in an address, put in 111, and I'll just put in Main Street here. There we go. And then I'll select that from the list, add that to our route. There we go, hit select, and I'll add in a couple more points here. I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom, Browse the map and pick out a point from here to add to the route. Hit select. And then I want to finish the route back where I started at home. So here we go. Here is our complete route you can see here. Now I can continue to add points by pressing the plus sign in the upper left. I can delete my route by hitting the trash can in the lower left. I can also change the order here by selecting one of these arrows over on the right. And then I can just drag and drop. Now I can hit next. It is going to go ahead and calculate the route. And once it's done, it's going to show us our entire route on the map. And from here, we can move around the map screen so we can drag our finger around. We can zoom in a little bit on individual points on the route. We can even view some more information by pressing this three bar menu in the upper left and then selecting review trip. This is going to show us our entire trip step by step. Total 49 miles, hour and a half, and we can review all of these points. It'll show you everything in a list like we have right here, but you can select every single one of these, and it's going to show you more detailed information on that step of your trip. And this is showing us our photo real junction view, but we can scroll through this and get a lot of detailed information on where we are going to be going. When we are all done, we can go ahead and hit save, give our route a name. I'll just call this test hit done. And there we go. So again, over on the right distance time, we can view the entire route on the map, hit go to start. We have some options here in the upper left. First one is edit destinations. This takes us back to the screen that we were on earlier. We can change the order or add more points. Below that, delete the trip, rename the trip, optimize the order of the points, and then you have your route preference. So you can have your GPS calculate the route by whatever is the fastest time, you can have it route you off-road by whatever is the shortest distance or whatever uses the least amount of fuel. Now that our route is saved, we can actually exit out of this and it's still going to stay within our Trip Planner app. And we can access that again by going back into Apps, Trip Planner, and there it is. Now that's a quick overview of the Trip Planner and Garmin Nuvi 2014 Advanced Series of Automotive GPS.